Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hello everyone. So the market had a bullish reaction today thanks to the tech sector and the tech sector pretty much put the market on its back today as the financial sector saw weakness continue to sell, sell off after the financial sector earnings are really in full swing. Tech sector just starting with Netflix earning real bull reaction. So everybody piled into tech sector names today and started pricing in the earnings, the bullish reaction to earnings on all these other names. So Amazon, Facebook, Google, all running Apple and looking really good. But what this does, and in my opinion, what I'm going to be looking for is for this to be pricing in bullish earnings reactions, which means we're not going to see huge bullish reaction to these earnings. And, you know, Amazon today up already 4% is the market anticipating bullish earnings. So what I'm looking for to happen now that we've filled our gap, our target of 270.19 on the daily, we're looking for weakness, looking for signs of weakness. And there aren't any at this point. The first sign of weakness will be an hourly lower high and lower low on SPY. And I'm looking for the weekly time frame to set a lower high compared to 279.29 and to continue tightening in this equilibrium pattern. So lower high looking to form, then we'll look to consolidate and form a higher low, which is why I'm looking for May and potentially early June, depending on how long consolidation takes to be when we get a clear break of this equilibrium pattern on the weekly time frame and some clear longer term signal as to direction of the market for the rest of the summer. So IWM. Bullish follow through. It's slightly more bullish than SPY overall. 157.90 is resistance. And then after that, it's just the all-time high. Very little resistance until that all-time high. Upper Bollinger Band beginning to ascend to create room. But I do believe we will consolidate on the daily before getting there. So high, low, lower high, higher low, and looking for a lower high to form compared to 159.93. It is stronger than SPY, so I would rather personally look for SPY to set a lower high than IWM. QQQ, bullish reaction thanks to the heavy weighting of the tech sector in QQQ, breaking resistances, filling the little gap on the daily, and the next level is 168.76. QQQ is already in an uptrend, higher lows and higher highs on the weekly. I would still anticipate a lower high to form on this weekly chart, considering where we are coming from and the amount of a bounce it would take to just go from a lower high to a higher high. It's possible if all of these names, you know, if Facebook and Amazon and Google, if they all hit it out of the park on their earnings and their guidance going forward, then absolutely we could possibly see QQQ test its all-time high in the next couple of weeks, but odds favor a lower high in this scenario. VIX continues to pull back. So again, started talking about looking for an entry on VIX as we look for SPY to set that lower high on the weekly, but we need the lower high and lower low hourly pattern to change. We need higher lows and higher highs on the hourly. From there, it would be a potential bottom fishing play with whatever the low is at that point, 1457. And then 1331 is a must hold level. So I would be keeping an eye out for a potential bottom fishing play with 1331 support. Let's say we drop down. Let's see what our RSI is on VIX. RSI on the hourly time frame will be important. But if we drop down, so hourly RSI was crushed on VIX. We're just starting a bounce now, still no trend change in sight. But if we drop down and this hourly RSI gets back to oversold again, look at the four hour RSI. And that's pretty low historically. Where does the four hour RSI bounce? And this is the most over oversold the four hour RSI has gotten in years. That's notable. So I would be looking for a bullish entry on VIX. Look at all that red. And I would use my stop loss, either 1457 or 1331. And it depends on where we open tomorrow, but we are due for a four hour short term bounce. And we'll be looking for, oh, a 10% bounce in VIX on this play. But again, it hasn't really developed yet. Not really looking too confidently at an entry. I need more data. I need more information on the pre-market spy setup tomorrow morning. But I'm going to be highlighting this for our members live tomorrow morning in terms of the potential play on VIX as we do look for an oversold bounce. So I appreciate you all watching, looking for that lower high on SPY weekly time frame. And we will check back in tomorrow and see if the tech sector bulls can continue to keep this market strong.